Absence of trial judge at Sokoto Magistrate Court has told trial of Sunusi Umar, who while driving recklessly knocked down Fatima Suleiman, leading to amputation of her leg. Awakar Awal, Imam, has the details. The absence of the chief magistrate has stalled the further hearing on a case involving a 16-year-old student, Fatima Suleiman, who lost her leg to a reckless driving by a fellow student in Sokoto. Ms. Suleiman was sitting with her friends after finishing their senior secondary school examination when she got crushed by the stunt driver who came from another school to celebrate completion of their NACO exams with friends. The case was adjourned to today for continuation of hearing, but after all the lawyers and relatives of the respective parties were seated, the chief magistrate, Maria Haruna Dogondaji, sent a message that she was indisposed and as such adjourned the case till next week, Monday. The court was expected to decide on the bail application filed by the council today, dependent during the last sitting. However, the attempt by the official of the Sokoto Correctional Center to seize the phone of a journalist who was recording the arrival of the suspect caused commotion in the court premises. The officer said he was acting on the instruction of his superior officer. When the journalist and other social media bloggers insisted on taking the photographs, the officer invited armed squad of Sokoto Correctional Center who came in a van and started harassing people before whisking away the suspects. Counsel to the plaintiff, Barista Mansour Ali, spoke on the development. Well, it is very unfortunate. What in fact caused the problem was that, you see, journalists were there, relatives of the victims were also there. Journalists wanted to have a picture of the boy when he was entering the court with the prison officials interjected and prevent journalists and other social media possibly bloggers they intended to have his pictures. So it was the court could not sit because the judge Alant was sick and the matter was adjourned to next week Monday. But the journalists and other bloggers went to the insisted that they must have his pictures since the court would not sit. But you see what I learned it was the prison official who was sent to court along with the defendant invited the armed squad of uh, prison officials. They came and fought in the one unfortunate style to, as if they are making arrests or something.